If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Aloha, our keto friends. It's Micah and Maria in the kitchen. And if you didn't watch the day in my keto life, you should check out that video. But um, what I do in the morning is I work and then I like to run and lift weights. I'm about to go out on my run, but when I get back from running and lifting weights, I wanna eat. So I'm gonna teach you how to make Instant Pot ribs. So it's in this book, Keto Instant Pot. I'm gonna open up the page, check it out, Smoky Barbecue Baby Back Ribs, which I love. I smoke ribs a lot, don't we? We fill up that smoker a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but today, we don't have any smoked ribs, so we're gonna make pork baby back ribs. Micah, can you open that up? Um, we have our butcher box ribs. We get this delivered <laughs> twice a month. Uh, we usually get a lot of hamburger and we get a lot of ribs um, and uh, filet mignon we really like. But yeah, you just rip that open and we're gonna do it in the Instant Pot. If you don't have an Instant Pot, all of the directions also have, uh, all of the instructions also have directions for how to do it in the slow cooker. So if you're slow to the Instant Pot revolution um, like I was, you can certainly do this in the slow cooker, which I still do. Um, but we're going to, I'm gonna help you out my friend. We're gonna rip this right on open. I should have had it open for you, okay? Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to put your trivet in the Instant Pot and your trivet looks like this, all right? So I'm just going to put that right on in there and you're going to put a cup of water because you need liquid in the Instant Pot. You could use beef broth or their pork broth, but what we're going to do, Micah, we're going to season this up. So you could season it, season it with the smoked paprika, so sprinkle it with your hands all over on both sides. And to make them extra smoky, we're going to use smoked salt and pretty soon we're going to have the Redmond smoke salt. They're making Maria Emmerich's Redmond so smoke salt, but right, yep, sure. Um, you can do all sides and then we're going to use the smoke salt that we have and I will get to it for you, bud. Yep. You can do smoke salt all over the place. So even though you don't have a smoker, um, you could get that smoky flavor by using smoked salt. And that's why Redmond is going to do that with us. We just don't have any of it yet. We only have the samples. Um, we're get coronavirus happened and everything came to a halt. That's perfect. But now I'm going to put this right on into the Instant Pot. All right. And all we're going to do is close this up. See how easy this was? You could have done it without me. And I'm gonna push manual and 20 minutes, okay? And now I can go off for a run, but I'm gonna make a sauce. You all know that I love sauces. I'm a saucy girl. You can go wash your hands if you want, bud. I love sauces. And I'm gonna do just a simple barbecue-y like sauce. It's very, very simple. Um, I just have some plain tomato sauce, stevia glycerite. I'm gonna squirt that on in there. You could add a little vinegar or something. I didn't even go to that trouble. I just did that, that, and a, just a dash of liquid smoke. You could put some smoked salt in there if you want to, but I didn't in the recipe, so we will leave that out because it's really not needed. Now this sauce, once the Instant Pot is done, I'm going to brush this sauce all over the ribs and broil it just for a few minutes, and we'll catch you back and show you that in a little bit. All right, everybody, I am back from my run, right? <laughs> and we have our Instant Pot uh, ribs that are done, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a, Quick release like that. I have my oven on a broil uh, at 400 degrees. And honestly, you could just eat them now, but it's nice to get that crispy crust on it. So once that is released, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. All right. So now our ribs are finished. And I'm gonna grab some tongs to get them out. And if they're not tender, you're gonna wanna add another couple minutes to it. Depends on if you like them chewy or not. Some people like a chewier rib. Some people like them falling apart. And remember, you can do this in your slow cooker too. And they're beautiful. Good job, Mr. Micah. And would you brush the sauce all over them? Just on the top parts. Remember, we already prepared that, so this could happen quick, you know, as fast as can be. Here, I'll just do this, bud. And brush. 
There we go. And Micah said we need to get a better scissors. That scissors is pretty dull. And now I'm just going to put them into the broiler oven for about um, three or four minutes until you get that nice crusty outside. And we'll catch you back in a little bit. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes. I'm going to grab it out of the oven. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. You get that nice crispy, thanks Micah. This nice crispy top. I know I need a camera to show all of you, like a, an upper view. But here we go, here are the ribs. Oh yeah, and the bones are coming right out. I like it really soft and tender like that. This is the easy Instant Pot ribs. If you are, I mean, if you don't have an Instant Pot, use a slow cooker, but it's super duper yummy, isn't it, bud? Mm -hmm. Mahalo. Sharon is caring. Share this video with your friends.